The Blue Hills Wind Farm was planned for the Devil's River area, about 200 miles northwest of San Antonio. Troubleshooter Jay Avila investigates claims it poses a threat to national security and our power grid. This ranch belongs to Sun Guaxan, a former Chinese military official who's purchased 140,000 acres with plans to build wind and solar farms. Property owners and conservationists were the first to raise alarm about the wind farm, saying construction might harm the pristine Devil's River and allowing a foreign company to connect to the Texas power grid would make it vulnerable. There are foreign actors, as we've seen recently with the, the gas pipeline hack, that uh, are, have ill intent for our country and our critical infrastructure. Those concerns were amplified by China watchers like Kyle Bass, who recently took this picture of an airstrip on Sun's ranch. Bass alleges Sun Wax On is a former general with ties to the Communist Party, and his company should should not be allowed access to the power grid. When you're able to plug directly in, you're able to map it, you're also able to upload malware. You can do all kinds of horrible things to our grid. Would your wind farm be a threat to the state of Texas? No. No, it would not. I interviewed Stephen Lindsay, a vice president with GH America, Sun's company that wants to build the wind farm. He says he doesn't know if his boss has ties to the Communist Party, but says he's not a former general. None of that's true. The chairman of the board of the company um, held a mid-level, a mid-level rank as a as an army officer in a motor pool company. Lindsay says the wind farm passed security reviews with the federal government and the Department of Defense. Opponents say GH America wants to put up unusually tall 700-foot wind turbines in an area not particularly known for high winds and where pilots from Laughlin Air Force Base fly training missions. State Senator Donna Campbell likens it to a Trojan horse China could control to gain access to the power network. And the Chinese Communist Party believes any China citizen Whatever property they have is also their property. The legislature has now passed the Lone Star Infrastructure Protection Act. It won't allow companies controlled by China, Russia, Iran or North Korea or one of their citizens to tie in to critical power, cybersecurity, communications, hazardous waste or water treatment facilities. The bill serves to protect our critical infrastructure from countries that are hostile to us. If Sun is forced to give up and sell his property, ranchers and conservationists say their battle will continue against other projects encroaching on this unspoiled part of Texas. In Valverde County, Jay Avila, News 4 San Antonio.